Hey everybody, looking at some additional tests with the Mac Studio Ultra, and I found a scenario that brings this computer to its knees. Like seriously, I've only got seven tracks. Now a couple of them are third party, but it's just orchestral instruments. It's nothing massive. And um, while it looks like it's going pretty low right this second, we can make sure that this thing just like blows out of the water here. And I was really surprised um, but also not too surprised at the same time. When we play this, I'm going to keep it pretty low because this is just a, a demo. It's not necessarily an actual song. But um, let me show you what is happening right this moment. And... So one half is just going off the charts, right? Still is a little bit. Let me put this down onto the guitar track and do a live input. I'm going to have to keep this extra soft um, because... So if I wanted to record this patch with the rest, um, let me do just really quickly uh, a track alternative so I can just flip up a new one here. This has happened every time I've tried this, so it's not just a fluke. I've restarted, I've done everything. Here's what's happening. And if you want to pause the video in a second and put your guess in the comments before I tell you what it is, uh, then do that because I'd be interested to see how many of you can figure this out before I even do this. Um, I mean, I'll show you. I've hardly got any effects. I've got a drum kit, retro synth, e piano, alchemy, two play plugins. Those are working fine. It's not the play plugins. Um, and then the one track is sculpture with a pedal board, an amp designer, a stereo spread, and a channel EQ. So not even four effects that are completely out of this world. What would be causing this? Pause and tell me in the comments, and then come back and I'll tell you. Okay, you're back. Uh, let me explain exactly what's happening. Um, I'm running this project on a Steinberg UR22 Mark II, which is an interface that goes all the way up to 192 kilohertz sampling rate. So I'm running this whole thing at that. Let's do, I'll show you where this is. 102, 192 kilohertz sampling rate. So that's the highest we can go. And um, now granted, I'm not recording audio. I'm just using instruments and some effects. Um, but on top of that, I'm saying, you know what? This is a Mac Studio Ultra. I should be able to run this at a 32 sample buffer size. So these two things together make it so that I can't record on most tracks. Now, if I change my buffer size even to, well, 256, let's, tr let's see if this screws up our audio, but we're gonna go to 64 and apply. I still am hearing that a little bit. So let's go to 128. I'm out of the clipping. But the problem is we're only able to use one thread for a live input like this. Now, there are some of you who understand this process better than I do um, in terms of those who understand programming and how the architecture of this system is set up. But we're using one thread for an input like this. Uh, we go to 256, let's go to 256 and we'll see. I'm hearing the least amount. Let's see if this can play. And so we're able to do it at 256. Still, we're talking about a Mac Ultra with the full 20 cores and uh, so much power we don't even know what to do with it and it can't handle this at this that sample rate. If I were to pull this down to 48, which I can't do right now because I'm recording, but uh, all of this goes away. We're looking at, you know, power for days. But I keep on seeing people on the internet saying, oh, go 192, that's the only way, it's like what professionals do. And I'm like, you're full of baloney. If, you, if you're working on big projects at 192, then there's something insane in your life happening that, um, that I don't fully understand. But because I'm maxing out now, just playback. Let's close these down. Um, and we'll go back to the original here. 
just playback when I select a non-input uh, channel like that. Uh, just playback is using half of my threads up above 75% uh, and often up to 100%. Seven tracks. They're not peaking out as much now. They're staying, some of them are staying around 75%, but still, I mean, that doesn't leave me a lot of space here. And so I think that um, certainly we've got some issues with this. Anyway, just wanted to share some additional findings on this. Uh, 192 at uh, 32 samples is a possible and it works uh, and it sounds decent. I'm never going to work here on a regular basis. It's totally insane, but um, you never know. Maybe you want to.